Was that the first, um, not the first, but was that as about as complete a performance as you could have asked for today? Yeah, it was our best game uh, probably of the year. Um, huh. I'd have to go back, and it's been a while, you know, maybe Florida on Friday, you know, um, but it was a good game, uh, did everything well. Was it nice to finally get Caden Wood, Woods? Of oh, yeah, absolutely. Know? He's a great kid. He's a good pitcher. Um, you know, was working through some injury stuff in the fall. Uh, was a little bit behind, um, you know, was kind of just okay going into the season. And, you know, the first four weeks of the season, four and a half weeks of the season, we pitched really well. So it was really hard to get innings. And, um, you know, that's not really the story. The story is him, you know, being a high-level character guy and stay with it. And that was impressive. Like, those three pitches he threw were usable, and he'll be back out there again, you know, whether this weekend or uh, next Tuesday. Obviously, it worked out. Uh, Jared Jones in, in the leadoff role. Um, you know, what did you see from him? What went into that decision? I uh, just I'm trying to get better. I mean, it literally didn't make the lineup until an hour and 20 minutes before the game today. And just you know, it's uh, got to get got to get guys consistent and just try to maximize the talent that we have. And you know, we did it with Tommy at Arkansas. And uh, you know, so throw one of those guys in the. Uh, leadoff spot and we're two for two with a leadoff homer so maybe there's something to that um but he had a great a great night tonight i'm sure that's a game he'll remember for a long time is part of the reason why he did that was because he leads the team in walks right now he gets on base quite a bit bigger. yeah i just i just liked the feel I, I didn't really like anything honestly going into the day and um you know i made literally wasted more paper than anybody in louisiana uh the last couple of days trying to figure it out like that's my job and um you know finally landed on that Seems like a lot of the at bats are quality tonight, taking pitches and getting on base, walking. Or yeah, it was good. It was a good night. Good night all the way around. I mean, we did some things execution wise. Um, great plate discipline. Drove some baseballs, um, and and it's good. You know, they, they need to have that. You know, every once in a while, and hopefully that uh, you know carries over to the weekend. How about Dutton out of the bullpen? Too? Did great. Yeah, Sammy did great. Another guy. You know, I mean, he's obviously pitched more than a guy like Cade Woods, but has pitched pretty well. You know, I think he had maybe one speed bump outing. And, um, you know, he's, he's hung in there and he's performed for the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, so I'm excited. Um, we're going to roll a little differently this weekend, you know, with uh, pitching staff and excited to, to have him and Aiden Moffitt and those guys, you know, ready to roll this weekend. Uh, I thought uh, it was good to get him out there. I think he's going to be a really good player. Um, you know, uh, Michael started about 30, 28, 30 games in a row, and um, Ryan's a player. You know, Zebradell also comes to mind of guys I'd like to have gotten more time for. He's really athletic. Um, you know, I'm sure he's a little nervous, you know, first college start and all that. Um, but I think he's going to be a really good player, and I think there's a, a lot of good baseball for, for Ryan here. Was it nice to see Jake Brown drive the ball? We'll yeah, we, again, um, been doing well. And, um, you know, when I mention figuring out the lineup piece, it's – the difficult sometimes in a good way and it's like I wanted to get him in there and start him tonight but just it was good the way the game worked out you know we kind of halved the game with everybody you know and um, I was happy to see him get a couple of bats drive one put another good swing on a second at bat uh, I think he's going to be a great player here and um, you know we're still working out the right combination so I don't know if that's this weekend I don't know if it's next week or two weeks or opening day of 2025 but there's a lot of guys that fit in that category and um you know you gotta gotta graduate levels of of things that you can do to to elevate yourself and uh, just because we've lost some games i still think we have a good team i think we've only, the reason we've lost some games is because we played other really good teams and um so it's not easy to play here all the time as a right off the bat as as we can see and honestly it doesn't even mean it's the right thing if somebody is playing you know um so I'm, uh, I'm excited about Jake, though. I'm really excited about Jake. So you said the players all kind of had to ask themselves about you know, the competition level. Did you get the answer you wanted? Well, I thought we played great tonight. Um, you know, there's, we need to make it about baseball and just make it about, like, hey, let's, not get, let's, let's, let's get zero runs in the first inning. That was an accomplishment because, I mean, Vanderbilt scored in, like, 10 of the last 11 innings, or maybe it was even 11 to 12 or 12 to 13. I don't remember. But let's get a zero in the first, and let's take three or four really good at-bats and see if we can put a two up in the first inning, and then move on to the next one. I mean, 
kind of to say, okay, what's next? And that's, that's kind of how we're going to roll, you know, the rest of the way. You briefly mentioned um, maybe some changes to the bullpen. Is, like, Cam Johnson definitely a candidate? For oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's locked in, yeah. I mean, he was this weekend. We obviously used yeah. him this weekend. Uh, he was on at Arkansas, and, um, you know, he's, he's, he's moving in a good, really good direction. Another good performance tonight. Um, you know, I just I really wanted to get Cade in the game because, you know, him and Coach Jeske have been working hard. And Aiden, you know, like, I mean, he'll be part of that now too. You know, um, there were some things he had to get to, and he's strung together a lot of really good performances. So uh, excited about that. What was the thing that clicked with Cam after that walk? Uh, you know, I, I don't – I can't answer that, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would be lying if I gave you something. But um, I thought uh, – I, th- I think what I like is the misses are smaller – and he's starting to feel the adjustment he needs to make to put the pitch where he needs to. And that's the story is when the pitcher can make their own adjustments, um, you're, you're getting something, especially when you have a guy as much talent as Kim. Is part of it just understanding it, understanding his own body or his own Yeah, and bigger guy. I mean, like uh, sometimes putting it all together is a little tougher, but he's a good athlete. Um, and, you know, I think the strikes piece has gotten – a lot better, you know. I mean, I don't think you can just look at a stat sheet and go, "This is what this guy is," because um, outside of that first outing, he's been pretty good. With Kate Anderson, um, great what did, outing. Yeah, what, would he, what did he do tonight? That well, we, I think we got him some rest. Like, I mean, I felt like we were asking a lot of him of, "Hey, try to pitch in the midweek, get up in the bullpen, maybe don't go in." And um, he never said anything. That was just my own assessment. And I just – I did not like where he's been the last couple of weeks. And and what I mean by that, it was like I just made the decision like, hey, we got to – we got to get him some rest. We got to get him a bullpen schedule, get him ready to go tonight. You know, I mean, because that's a good – another good performance. And if he's, if he's sharp and if he's fresh, then, you know, we need guys that can get us six to nine outs uh, in these SEC weekends. And I think he can do that, but he has to be set up to do that. He just hadn't pitched since last week, so it was important that we got him out there today. Do you think had just having him start and start we'll see? Game yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, he would tell you no, because he doesn't make excuses. Like his makeup is really, really good. You know, when you start looking at where we're headed and who can be a solution, you know, he can be a solution, and uh, you know, in the immediate and in in the future for sure. What do you think has been the key for Jared to? you know, lay off some of those breaking balls and, you know, start driving the pitches that he can drive. Yeah, I think he's just grown as a hitter. I mean, um, you know, the uh, intent that he works with on a daily basis, the understanding of what he needed to do to improve, maybe understanding that by overswinging he was throwing away some at-bats where he could, if he was a little more patient, he's either going to walk or he's going to be able to hit the ball over the fence because he's allowing himself to get a pitch that he can drive instead of trying to force it. It, yeah, it's part of that the opposite field home runs. Yeah, it's great. I think he's done a great job with that. Um, you know, the one against Texas that really stands out. I think he hit one against Florida that was really impressive. And then tonight, I mean, tonight I think that one was just a pure pure strength. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, he's done a great job. He's really evolving into a great hitter. Two more, coach. How about the bump play where you guys knocked in two runs? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, we uh, hadn't used that since against Butler last year, so it's been over a year and. Um, just I want to want to play better baseball and you know score in more ways. Like I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my man hitting three bombs over here. But if we can do that and do stuff like this, that's the difference in getting the spread to to finish those games off. And um, you know, so it's good to see. Was that a suicide squeeze? Yes. Squeeze. Yes. Steal that second as well. Yes. Uh, what was the difference going into Southern's game last week and going into today? Um, yeah, I don't even really want to go back. It's kind of like if I'm telling them, like, let's get to the next, like, that's what, that's what we're going to do. So excited to work out tomorrow, you know, amidst the tornado warning and, um, you know, get ready for a good weekend. I think we'll be, I think we'll be an improved team this weekend. And I think, I think it's going to be a great series. You had the winds, winds blowing out. That was a good sign for the tornado tonight, Yeah. Geez. I mean, he don't need any help, you know, um, (laughs) Yeah. You know. The other guys, though. Yeah, the other, yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> see you guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.